What is going on everybody? This is Orby Woe back with another Call of Duty video. And today we're starting a new series where we do some one-on-one -on -one war zone coaching. Uh, we're gonna expand this series as we go through, but essentially where we're gonna start is just with the, this is a friend of mine's video, some gameplay he got on his Twitch stream. Uh, we're gonna go down, we're gonna break, break down uh, essentially every decision we make all the way throughout this gameplay. Uh, hopefully in the future, as if this catches on, I can use some of y'all's gameplay if you want. If you want your own gameplay broken down, please leave me a, a message in the comments. Uh, or you can send me a message on Twitter or something. We can try and find a way to get that worked out. Love to do that for, uh, for all different styles of gameplay. Right now, we're going to focus mainly on uh, your kind of average Warzone players. Uh, the guys that are really looking to make big strides to jump up. If you're already a really good Warzone player and you're trying to make that extra jump uh there's there's limited things that we can work on i want to focus more on the normal player uh our guys from 0.6 to about a 1 kd somewhere in that range uh because there's a lot of things you can fix and there's a lot of things to work on as we go through gameplay uh to really make some jumps there so that being said uh this is my friend ogsd fan uh on twitch i'll have his links to his Twitch and I believe to his YouTube in the description. Definitely go check him out, show him some love, tell him more of you woe sent you. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into the video. Let's see what we got here. So we're in solos, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if I remember, I watched this game. I think I actually watched this game live as he was playing it. Nice little burp action to get started here. So one thing I always talk about in solos, especially um, really in any gameplay here on Warzone, you need to have a uh, an idea of what you're trying to do, a game plan before you drop into the map. You really need to figure it out, really before you do anything, but in the pregame is a good idea because you'll kind of see where the plane's going. You need to figure out if you're going for the win strictly, for kills strictly, or the combination where you go for kills early, and if you're still around, switch to the win late. Any of those are completely fine, but you're gonna play vastly different for all three of those. Good check to see if anybody landed directly on you. Glass broke somewhere near. It means we need to be a little careful. But uh, you're gonna play completely different. You're gonna land in different spots. You're gonna need to play with a different sense of urgency for all of these. Okay, got us some decent loot. No guys around, No, no, not a bad idea to throw that down in case you get Stunned right off the rip. Right away, I can see we need a, a little bit of work. Just on our centering and movement a little bit here. Not bad. We can get into that a little more. We heard a door open. This is a tough spot here when you know somebody's low level. Got a little jittery. Not bad. Got the kill. Excellent. Worked out great. The guy didn't have his plates on yet. Ended up going good. That spot is really hard. Ooh, got another guy. Good little duck down. Good use of cover, like the drop shot. Let's pause that for just a second. Okay, so um, this little staircase here, when you know there's people under you, not exactly sure where they are, not exactly sure what they have early on in the game, um, it's really it's really tough to decide what to do here. Staying mounted on that corner, I'm not an enormous fan of. Excuse me, just because if they, if they come around that corner really quickly and you're mounted, your gun is gonna cover that where you can't see them very well. So um, I almost would rather not be mounted, but still in that spot is not bad. Uh, you can also be the aggressor and push it when it's early. You gotta kinda hope that people maybe aren't plated like that guy wasn't. Maybe he doesn't even have any. The way he busted through the door and then didn't push us makes me think that he probably didn't know we were there. It's kinda quick things you have to decide on and you might be wrong. So it worked out fine here. Um, but I would I would probably either play it unmounted and just kind of shoulder on that wall or um, or push it a little more aggressively. Second guy we played about as good as we could have there. Used the wall, uh, used our little counter here for good cover, and then uh, and then got the kill. That was nice, very good. We got a little good two kill start. Okay, another little thing here. That little move there, that one can get you killed pretty quick, uh, swapping these guns out. So, let's, uh, okay, right here. We can see what this gun is, we're at, right here. Without ever leaving these doors, 
And so we can decide before we run out into the open if we want it or not. Um, if we do want it, we can make the swap without running even down from these stairs. So more cover, we wanna pick that gun up from essentially from right here, standing here, as opposed to running out, turning around, switching, switching back. Make that decision now before you get out there. Um, small thing, but if there's another guy around, he'll blast you right here, you'll die. No cover, no way to get back in, it's just too far. So little bitty things like that will make an enormous improvement in how many times you die per game. Uh, it's, it's little things, but it, it'll make a big jump. What do we got? We have QBZ and uh, Mac. Honestly, uh, I think that, uh, no, we got ammo. So personally, I think I probably take the C58 and hold the Mac, but that's a little personal preference and all these guns are fairly close. I'm not anything massive. If there's a, a massive jump in quality of gun, then you may want to change it. A little bit of looting, so I would definitely swap this. Hey, big raid from Flying Hawaiian onto OB's stream while he was playing. Gotta love to see that. So now we have, uh, I believe we have C58 in QBZ. That's okay. QBZ works a little better as a sub, I think, than a long range AR. Now, at this point, this right here is where a lot of people stagnate. We need to we need to know what we're doing here really quickly. So we are either trying to get four grand for a UAV to push stuff, or trying to get 10 grand to get our loadie and figure and start moving towards getting to a win and placement. Um, this little route we took here, not an enormous fan of. You're, you're, I see kind of what you're trying to do because we're staying away from these guys, anyone over here by the buy building, but we're opening ourselves up to all this. And since we've already fought so much at police, I think more people are likely to be here. So I probably would have taken a more direct route, a little better cover, but we need to know exactly what we're doing. Are we looking for 10 grand or four grand? If it's four grand, we got a little more room to play because it's gonna be easier to get. If it's 10 grand, we need to have a lot of urgency about looting. We need to be looting fast, finding money, skipping the things we don't need, and we need to be getting in and out. We gotta find this loadie. Now you can always play um, off of your your drop loadie, red dot across the street and big yellow it looks like. Um, depends on, again, that's, that's a decision that you need to have pre-made uh, in your mind as a player. Are you good enough to play off your drop loadie? Uh, it's different for everybody. Depends on how you're wanting to play. If you can get ghost off the rip or you can go with double guns, uh, it, it just, again depends on what you're trying to do a lot of times in solos especially if you're going to be moving a lot you really don't need um, you really don't need ghost uh, especially not early so you can definitely get away with going with an overkill class right off the bat wait till it drops grab that uh, especially if you find good ground guns you can make that work for a long time if you're going to try and kind of hold up find you a power position it's usually a little better idea to have your own guns, maybe have a claymore on your class, something like that, uh, and be a little more settled in. But again, you'll have to make that decision yourself. All right, so we got four grand working across the street to maybe loot some more. Not bad, getting some good looks. Again, uh, one of the main things we're seeing here, we need to work on our centering. We're looking at the ground this whole route. We can't see anything here. No clue if anyone's around us. And that's just because of where our, our if, to talk about centering a little bit, this right here, we need to keep that. That should absolutely always be on a place where an enemy could be. So if you're approaching a house, it needs to be on the window or the door that you're going towards. Right now, Instead of it being right here, it should be over here or up here, either one, or, or really just in this area in case someone comes around this. But I would I would probably have it here is where you're most likely to see something uh, because that way right now, if a guy pops out, bang, head pops out here, we're dead. We've got to make this much of an adjustment to shoot him and kill him. It's probably not happening. Same for any of this. So we need to always have this, always have your crosshair where an enemy could be. 
and this is really easy. This is an, an absolutely completely normal thing, especially in BRs, because you're always running around looking for loot at the ground. So your crosshair always ends up on the ground. We want to get it up, get it up, see where the loot is, come back, back up, try to keep it up and see where the loot is with it up. Only move it down when you need to. At this point, honestly, other than the money to get us a, a loady, we have almost everything we need for early game. So we, we don't really need to be thinking too much about loot at all. OB is a great guy, by the way. We call him OB. If you do tend to jump into his stream, really nice dude. Always engages with the chat. Say hi to him. It'll make his day. I guarantee it. Let's see what we get here. So like this, as we approach this, Crosshair should be at one of these doors, hopefully. Go. A little more money in the corner. Might not be looted here. This area is a little weird. It, you would think that it would uh, usually be pretty safe. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but a lot of times it gets really hot here. Especially like mid-late, mid-to-late game. Doing a pretty good job of looting. One thing that is very easy. Not a bad swap. Really, really personal preference on those two. AK gives you more bullets. c 58s a little easier to control. Uh, it, is, it is very easy to get stuck in a... Uh, kind of a loot cycle where that's just all you're focused on and you're not doing it very fast. You're just kind of going slow looking through and then someone just happens to be around a corner and kills you. Um, but we're, we're looting with decent um, intensity here. We're getting a little unlucky on the money. That's for sure. I think we did pop a dead silence earlier to get across some area. Uh, if you're, if you're pretty sure no one's around, and you're not getting shot, I would save my dead silence. Ooh, sniper glint. Saw it a little late. Not a problem. Ooh, decent shot. That's a little tough. So, another thing we need to have here. In this situation exactly like that, and it's super easy to get lazy about this for everyone. Anytime you were running anywhere, you need to already have a plan for what you're going to do when you get shot. You need to know whether you're in the wide open, if there's a tree somewhere, whatever the case may be. Let's see how this little fight goes down. Nice, good work, OB. Um, when, no matter what, wherever you are, even if you're 100% sure there's no one around, you need to know where you're gonna go when you need to get out of trouble. So I'll give you an example here when we get landed. I'll show you kind of what I mean, but always have an idea and always it, if it helps, if you're able to um, have a backup plan for that too. Sometimes there's no choice, especially late circles when it's, it's little and there's not a lot of cover. You, a lot of times you don't have options on what you're doing. Let's get this loaded here and I'll pause it and I'll give you kind of an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, so say we're running here, right? We're trying to get to this house. We're going to pass this rock. As we pass this rock, let's say a sniper pops out of this window. Okay, what are we doing? Well, we got a lot of options here, actually. We can try to make it to this tree, try to make it to this tree. Depending on where we are, we can try to make it to this rock, maybe a slide lay down. Uh, we got this tree over here. There's a lot of things you can do, but what we can't do is freeze up or just continue running into these open areas. We need to know, oh, I saw a glint, bang, this is where I'm at. Oh, I saw a glint, bang, I'm sliding here. Whatever it may be, have that in your head already. And again, it's really easy to get lazy <laughs> and uh, and to just run. Uh, the map is enormous. If you're not in cars all the time, OB with the trash talk, I love it. Um, it's very easy to get into this just kind of, I've got 10 miles to run, I'm just gonna run in a straight line and to just not think about these things, but you need to constantly, constantly be assessing your area and deciding, okay, I'm going to this tree if I get hit. Okay, if I'm getting hit, I'm gonna make a break for that. But it's even okay sometimes 
to make a break through some open if you think you can get to better cover if you can make it um again you have to decide that where you are and based on how you're getting attacked a lot of times your first option may look great and then someone will pop up at your first option you got to be able to think on the fly on these things so ob so in this uh in this instance here ob's a little angry about that sniper and he's gonna i think go back for some vengeance um <laughs> uh that's fine uh nothing wrong with going after some kills again like i said play the game the way that makes it fun the the one thing i would say is that uh as as much time has passed even in solos as campy as that is there's a good chance that guy's not going to be there when you get there also we got to think we have a loady gun but now we are we have lost our satchel we've lost our daddy um we only have two plates we don't have enough money for a u so we can't let uh some things outweigh our game plan again always need to be thinking about your game plan uh always think about your game plan and always always be thinking especially when you get to the mid game when it's hard to decide what you should be doing you're not sure what's what maybe the right move is think about okay is what i'm doing helping my game plan Ooh, had a guy jump into a car here on him Ooh, nice lay down that guy may have no idea where you are Let's see how we play it <laughs> back in the bertha is always a good shot anytime you're in solos if you want to get safe bertha is about as safe as you can get um but anyways is what i'm doing helping my game plan what can i do to further my game plan ask those two questions and you'll you'll get a pretty good idea of what you're what you're doing now again um we got this is a, this is a tough situation too a lot of times for some reason we get in these kind of car fights ob's not really pressing that's not his idea but this guy's just kind of hanging around those things are tough it's better to get away from that if you can uh the little like the car chase things are it doesn't really do much all right i had a little i think we were looking for a uav there but didn't quite have enough so we're going to get plates fairly safe place to play here little bit exposed in that window heartbeat check guy is more than likely gone don't know could have had ghosts from the start again we had just left this building uh when he sniped us so no telling where he came from now what i would say if let's say we were going strictly for kills in this game if that's the case we've wasted too much time on this guy we could get five six more kills going after other people than than worrying about this one dude we'll get him later um if we're going for wins then this is a little out of our way off of our game plan to come back and do but again like i said you got to have fun and sometimes it's fun to go kill people that were douchey so <laughs> so we're going to check it out this this building is a uh it's a tough push yeah. every building is a tough push solo uh, so, you know, my advice usually, if you don't know where the guy is, if you don't have a good idea where he is, if you don't feel very comfortable about your own skills, um, usually stay away from the solo building pushes. It's better just to get somewhere else, let them have to come out of the building because they almost always will, and kill them in the open. All right, back in the Bertha, three kills, 36 up tons of cars on our left now one of the best ways to play solos do a bunch of recons find the center circle pick you a powerpoint go sit in it if you're not a fan of doing recons i don't blame you you can really go off of the circle like right now let's pause this for a second sorry let's get back to our map here okay so if I'm going to guess right now, I'd get in these houses right here. If I was going to pick a PowerPoint to, to power placement to play the rest of the map for them, I'd just go bang. I'd, I'd be there right now in the Bertha. Um, if I'm going for kills, I'm going to want to hover right where I'm at, really. I'd be driving kind of a just a semicircle right in this area. 
catch anyone in factory all these downtown guys you can get them right in here this this area would be really nice if we get people pushing through it people tend to avoid it in the open though but anyways that's just kind of my thought process this is probably there might be one or two people here but not many um this is where we started uh stadium may or may not this is where all those cars were they're probably going to lose out but we can catch people from downtown and from airport all in this that's if you're if you're looking for kills like we said here a lot of time a lot of time spent on one guy when we we probably could have used that time a little more efficiently but again like i said whatever makes you have fun warzone's a stressful game Let's see what we decide to do here good job looking around in the berth instead of keep just keeping it straight another tip cars uh choppers all those things um ooh had a guy pretty close there honestly in that situation i think you hit that rock full speed right in front of him you might be able to get over it and crush him it seems counterintuitive and you might get stuck it's one of those things where you just got to play it by ear i probably would have slammed that rock full speed tried to crush him if it didn't work jumped out tried to get my kill there now we're at a point we've gotten out of our bertha we're less safe we do have him on heartbeat but before that we didn't know where he was right out this window should be a great look excellent lead with the with the thermite nice good kill i would um just from knowing ob personally i know he has a tendency to get a little squeezy on the grips that drop shot there was not necessary and i don't think that he absolutely meant to do it didn't hurt in this situation but um in that situation we had that pretty well handled ob wasn't losing that fight uh we'd like to see just try to get a little more relaxed if you can try to get loose make that kill with some good movement drop shot is a great absolutely awesome move when you're head on but this guy was turned he, he had no clue what was going on so at this point we're actually doing pretty good we're ghosted we've got a long range gun we've got a short range gun uh, we got five plates and a gas mask and a kill streak and four grand at this point i would not try to get a loady anymore we're we're good where we're at uh i can play with everybody else's guns from this point i would probably we don't want to lose our cluster we don't want to waste it what i would probably do here is start trying to find that power point in the middle center of the map oh yeah cut them off oh so another just a little thing here four wheelers motorcycles whatever anytime you're getting anywhere near them in a bertha hit them head on full on head on it, it, you'll absolutely have a have like a <laughs> couldn't tell you exactly but i'd say like a 70 percent chance of getting that kill if you just hit him head on instead of turning to the side he was trying to get like above and land but just head on you're better off you'll climb up on top of him chasing is usually not a great idea in the cars like we said we got blasted from two or three other people i actually love that stop on the truck though let me actually show you why on this so as we're coming in here now I think we do need to be a we need to be a little more aggressive on the push after the fact. If if we've decided we're fighting this guy, we can see him get out. I think we saw him cross or about to. Anyways, we can't get the truck through here. That's fine. What we can do is exactly what OB does, slam the truck into this hole. It's going to pop us out the closest it can in full cover and right by the door and he can't get through he can't shoot us and we've got a straight angle bang through the door right to where he is this is excellent job on the truck maybe need a, a little more aggressiveness on the push bang we're out at the tail swap to the right gun we should have probably hit either of these two doors so, 
So this guy's ghosted too. So now, now we're back to 50, 50 again. We're not chasing anymore. We're as much being hunted as, as he's hunting us um, or as we're hunting him. And we, we also don't know who else is here. Maps getting small enough. There could be multiple people in this area. see how we play it out here this tough spot where we're at here that like I said that window if someone happened to be in it we're toast right there check our centering try to keep it where people would be decent job a little higher right now but we're doing good on that actually check again remember this is a tip as well with your heartbeat you do not have to wait to see the wave. You pull it out. If you hear a beep, then you can leave it out to see if you want. Probably probably hold on to that, honestly. Uh, this guy is more than likely not on the roof. Most people come into these buildings, they run straight to the top floor. There he is. Guy missed his shots. We got decent ones. Looks like he, he messed a thermite up on us. So he can't push very well through that door on his own now. Okay, we got Tracker. We're seeing him here. Nice. Worked out. Good Good use of the drop shot. Only other thing we could have done there is use this window to shoot him to keep a little more cover instead of exposing our body. But it, it's tough to know if he's going to stay in that little spot or jump down. So worked out okay. We got somebody's recon on us here. Nothing on beat. Got 17 up. Fourth circle. We're pretty well centered. A couple other buildings might be slight advantages, but not much. This is the this is the point now where uh, you kind of just got to sit around. There's not a lot we could do. We got Deddy, UAV, gas, plates, guns. We're doing great. It's about as good as it gets at this point. Sometimes we just, unless you're just full pushing every kill, sometimes you're just going to have to wait around. <laughs> yeah, it uh, definitely gets slow. Checking the map. Yeah, like I said, these, and if you look, like we talked about earlier, these, this is where I said I would have went. They're still in a pretty good spot. This is what, two circles later. So you can tell really early on what areas are gonna be pretty strong. We might've saw a gun barrel on the right there. I'm not sure. Again, we need to have our crosshairs up higher, especially with a recon on us here. Somebody could, more than likely, they're not going to do this this late, but they might. They might still come by it, so we need to we need to be up and a little more ready here. All right, when the Lodis land here on 5th, there's going to be a lot of people right as the Gulag closes landing back in. So it's a good idea to have a little more, um, excuse me, <clears throat> visual uh, information we got two over here to our left somebody lands on that's an easy kill there's ours one with that so there's at least four people around us fairly close whether that be gulaggers or people near us Oop, got some audio there guy I'm coming up on us this guy should have no clue we're there not a huge fan of this position right here you're using this as cover that's good but we're aimed directly at it that does nothing for us if we start shooting none of this is doing anything we're having to correct before we can hit anything so go ahead and get a little more to the edge or just go ahead and aim over here from where you're at in this situation there we go that's a little better this is probably even a better better cover again Keep track of where you're aiming. Is just kind of think about this the next time you're in a game. Think about where you're aiming. Can I hit anything? There we go. From where we're at. See our first couple bullets hit the grass. Good slide. 
probably the only reason not to say that was a bad gunfight it was a great gunfight but the the main reason we won that is sliding into it if we walked into that gunfight slow we're dead this guy kills us probably it was a great job great slide into that fight swapping from the Craig to the far that's, that's just personal preference choice Actually, oh, uh, we swapped our bullfrog out there. So that's something you want to be careful of there, too. Little mistakes like that can cost you at the end here. We'll probably notice that here pretty soon. There we go. Swapping back. No problem. Worked out okay, but we need to, we need to be conscious of that late. What we got here? We got 10 up, six bodies. It's a good solo game, especially when we're not even going for kills. Uh, expressly probably need to have some trigger discipline on this and not take these shots it's not bad it, it's not the end of the world it's solos so that, you know there, there's always that chance that you do get that kill but if you don't feel very comfortable that that's that's what'll happen so in that situation there if you're not 80 90 percent sure that you're getting the full kill on that guy over there at big big red uh, there's really no point in shooting that because even if you down him he's probably falling in the hole rezzing if he has self and getting away we just wasted our time there and did the same thing we alerted our presence this guy that walked in this bottom door may have had no clue we were there more than likely had no clue we were there so if we don't take those shots we may still die as he as he comes in but there's a better chance that we live if we don't so anyways overall very solid game very solid solo game um especially when playing a little more kind of loosey-goosey a little more kind of for the win but with uh without a, a very streamlined game plan um definitely a couple things to work on but nothing bad we can do a lot with this and uh and it looks good always uh, room to improve so anyways i hope you liked the video i hope this helped somebody else maybe kind of make some strides in their gameplay um if you did like the video i'd love for you to subscribe leave a comment maybe uh, let me know what you think things i can improve on um and if you want to use your gameplay in one of these absolutely let me know uh, other than that i hope to see you out on twitch tiktok all the other places and we'll catch you next time